Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm with the czar of Playbook, Emery Hunt, and I'm Tyler Merkovich, bringing you week one coverage of the NFL, one of the oldest and best rivalries in the NFL, our opening Sunday night football game this year, Chicago Bears, Jay Cutler, the new quarterback, against Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers. Great game it's going to be. What do you see the Bears how can they win this game in Lambeau, a very hostile environment? Well, the Bears are going to play their game. They just had a new element, which is a real good element in Jay Cutler. They're going to run Forte, develop that play action. Um, the thing about the Bears this year that's going to be different is the fact they won't have to worry about, oh, the run has to work in order to win. They can win with the pass now um, with Jay Cutler. They're going to run Forte, uh, develop that play action with Olsen. Uh, you do have... Uh, Earl Bennett out there on the flanks as well, you know, Kyle's teammate of Cutler. So that's going to work well. The, the chemistry is there already. You have Hester as well to another added element. Um, so I, and, and Desmond Clark is a vastly underrated tight end. Always finds the soft zones down the middle of the field and a reliable target. So the pair, the Bears are going to play their offense as well. Look forward to it to be even more versatile this year as well. Um, defensively, they're going to try to get after uh, Rodgers as they always do. Um, they, th that's the biggest question. Also, you want to make Rodgers throw into a zone because uh, he can. He does have a strong enough arm to, you know, beat one on one coverage. And the secondary may be a weakness for Chicago right now with some injuries. But uh, I think that's what's going. I think that's the three keys to victory: run Forte, develop the play action, and get after Rodgers. I like Earl Bennett and Greg Olson. They're going to be great targets for Jay Cutler this year. Bears can't get away from what they do best is run the ball. You know, I know all these fantasy guys are going to want color to throw the ball, but you don't have to do much with this offense. I think this offensive line is back. I think the whole team, of the, I think the whole addition of Cutler re-energizes the team, gives even the defense more confidence. Erlocker is on his game. He's going to be more of a leader than ever. I know he's aging and all. Still got Lance Briggs. You got Tommy Harris. Some of the best players in football all on one unit. So their defense is very good. I love Aaron Rodgers and their receiving game. This is going to be key for Chicago. They need to hold down those receivers. Donald Driver, Greg Jennings, Jordy Nelson, Donald Lee, James Jones. I mean, it goes on and on. But can they run the ball? Ryan Grant was showing signs of life as well in that, in that old line. But I, I'm not totally sold on that old line, especially against that Bears defense. I think it's going to take a little time for that old line to mesh together and get the running game. They need to throw the ball on this, but if they play deep Chicago, you need to present an element of threat with the running game, which might be a problem. What do you see for the home team? How can they win this game? They can win this game by playing, by using their pass to set up their run. Um, one thing about Mike McCarthy, he loves to pass out the shotgun, and he can utilize a short passing game out of the shotgun as a supplement to the running game, because I just don't see Ryan Grant being what everybody wants him to be. I think they still have a question mark at running back, but I do like those receivers they have that you mentioned, Jennings and Jones and uh, Nelson and, and uh, you know Driver. Those guys are going to be phenomenal. Rodgers is an awesome quarterback. He's really accurate, and he has a deep arm. Um, he's a sneaky uh, athlete as well, too. So I, I like Chicago's pass versus uh, uh, the Bears' pass defense. Um, also, I'm interested to see that defense for the Packers. They look phenomenal in the preseason flying around that 3-4 Dom Capers got these guys flying around, making plays all over the field. There's a lot of speed on that Packers defense. So the defense will be another strength this season. This is going to be a tough game for Chicago as well as uh, for Green Bay. But the thing is that separates the both both teams is the running game. So I'm going to have to go with Chicago because they have Forte, and they're able to grind it out if need be. I just don't think Green Bay, if it gets to a point where it's a ball control situation, they can't grind it out because they don't have the running back that the Bears have. Well, I love Green Bay this year. I think it's just going to take a little more time for them to be at their exactly. apex this year. Exactly. But Chicago, they're going to be pumped up. They're going to be amped up. I think they're going to win this game. Doesn't mean they're going to win the division. Things can change from week to week, but I like the Bears in this one. And listen out here, you young quarterbacks, if you want to be great, make sure you ask your mom and dad to stay up a little bit later to see these two great quarterbacks, Aaron Rodgers and Jay Cutler, go at it. It should be a dandy for some more. Week 1 coverage of the NFL. Please visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL.